drawn animations, basically using the onion skin method, you're first going to start out by creating a new document in Photoshop. So that's file new. And then the size needs to be 7 inches width, 5 inches height, resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Here we go. Okay, and we said inches, and we need a width of 7, a height of 5, and that's going to be 72. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Now we're going to turn on our timeline. So at the top, we're going to do window and then timeline. Window, timeline. Okay, now we're going to create video timeline. We're going to press that button. Great. Then we're going to zoom all the way in on our timeline by sliding the tiny lever that's this, all the way to the right where there are two mountains. Now, if you don't slide it all the way over, your animation is not going to work quite right. So here's the lever. We are sliding it all the way over. Now you should be able to see all the individual frames. We're going to add a video layer. So this is actually what's going to allow us to animate. So at the top, you're just going to go layer, video layers, new blank video layer. And then you're going to turn on onion skins. Okay, so these allow you to see kind of a ghost of the image that you drew on the frame before. And this is really useful because animations really are just images that are redrawn over and over with little tiny adjustments in between. Okay, by the way, you can tell that layer one is my video layer because you can see this little film strip right here. All right, so we're turning on onion skins. So you're gonna click here, enable onion skins. Okay, nothing looks different, but trust me, it's on. On your video layer, you're gonna draw on the first frame. Then you're gonna move your playhead over to the next frame and do another drawing. Okay, so for our class, we're going to do a ball bouncing. So for this, you're gonna go ahead, pick a color for your ball. I'm just gonna roll with orange. And I'm gonna just change the size of my brush and I'm going to make sure my hardness is up because I want it to look like a solid ball. Okay, so I'm on my video layer. My playhead is over here. And for this animation, your ball is going to come in on one side of your screen, bounce, and then end up on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and have the ball be right here to start. Okay, now I'm going to slide the playhead over one frame. And you'll see this is where it was last time. So I'm going to go ahead and move it just a little bit. And I'm going to slide my playhead over again. And I'm just going to keep that up. So I'm just sliding that playhead over. Adding my ball. And now we're getting close to the bottom of the screen. And when your ball hits the bottom, it's going to squish a little bit because it is going to bounce, all right? So what that should look like, basically, your ball is going to be kind of a flat line. So I'm going to make my cursor smaller, and I'm going to draw my ball squishing. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to slide my playhead back over, and I'll make my cursor bigger again. And I'm just going to keep doing the same thing basically until it's done. Now, when you are making your own animation of your choice, you know, you can do any drawing at all like this. Okay, so I'm gonna say at this point it is all finished. So let's watch it. 
Okay, now it looks a little ghostly and that's because the onion skins are still on. So what we'll do, we're gonna click here and we're gonna turn them off. So by that, we're just gonna click enable onion skins one more time and we can rewatch it. Now that was a very fast little animation. The more frames that you have and the smaller movements in between, um, the slower your animation will be. And the fewer frames you have, the faster it will be. Okay. All right, we have done this. Now, this is so important, okay? To finish your animation and make it playable on other computers, you have to render it. Okay, so for this, you go File, Export, Render Video. We're gonna do this. File, Export, Render Video. Okay, you're gonna change the name and we're gonna call it, what did I say we're calling it? Okay, you're gonna call it Hand Drawn Animation and you're gonna choose the flash drive as your folder. So yours might look like this, mine looks a little different. And you're gonna find your flash drive here and you would choose it. Now, for the preset, you're gonna need to change this, okay? You're going to choose YouTube 1080p and then you're gonna hit render. And then it's gonna take a little while, but be patient, okay? When it's done, your video will be ready to play.